The wheels of a van goes round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels of a van goes round and round all through the town. How are you? Are you okay? I am fine. It's your teacher Anonsieta. Welcome to Easy Elimu Learning Simplified. Now, we've been doing place value. We did the place value using the bundles of sticks. We did place value using the teens. And now we want to identify the place value of digits in numbers. This is a very common, common question that most of you will always ask. Teacher, what if I've been told, find the place value of, they'll say, find the place value of number two. Find the place value of number two in then they list their group of numbers they will say in 42 in 2 in 28 so what am i supposed to do teacher you remember the place value chart how we did it first of all can you indicate a place value chart on your numbers place value chart on your numbers First of all, you do what? Indicate the place value chart on your numbers. Let me write these numbers here for enough spacing so that you're able to see exactly what you're supposed to do. Now, I've been told, find the place value of number two in that number. What am I supposed to do? First of all, two is represented on which in which place value? It is in the ones place value. What about four? For it is in the tens place value. So when they say you find the place value of number two, the place value of number two is ones. Just like that? Yes, just like that. Nothing more, nothing less. Just like that. The second question was find the place value of number two in the number two. Teacher, how is it possible to find the place value of number two in the number two? We said when you have been given a single digit, what are you supposed to do? If I've just been given a single digit like that, what am I supposed to do? First of all, what, what am I supposed to do? Put a zero before that number. Put a zero before that number. Then what follows? Teacher, you draw the place value chart. Use the place value chart nicely. Then show us the place position of each numbers two is in the ones position and zero is in the tens position so what is the place value of number two the place value of number two it's still ones very good now what of they have given you a number 28 Find the place value of number two. Still using the place value chart, can you give us the position of each number? The position of each number, eight is in the ones position, place value, and two is in the tens place value. So what is the place value of the number two? The place value of number two is tens. Just like that. As simple as that. What if I've been given a number like this is a number like 20. Same thing. Draw the place value chart and show us the position of each numbers first. Then after that you give us the Place value of number two, which is equals to tens. Now, sometimes they will ask the question, find the place value of the underlined number. It might not necessarily be number two. They must use the word underlined number. They must use the word underlined number. Find the place value of the underlined number. Same thing applies. Maybe the underlined number is 80, 
four. Then the underline number eight. Or the underline number is twenty-three. And then they underline that number. Or the underlined number is two. Are we together? So same thing. Use the plus value chart. Use the plus value chart. And we are saying four is in the ones plus value and eight is in the tens plus value. So which one is my underlined number? Yes, Johnny. My underlined number is eight. So the plus value of number eight is tens according to the plus value chart. Come here again. This is ones and this is tens. So which one is our underlined number? Janet, our underlined number is 3. So what is the place value of number 3? The place value of this underlined number is 1s. Very good. Then they will ask, find the place value of the underlined number. What is the underlined number in the part C? The part C underlined number is 2. So when you look at the place value chart, we have 1s. Tens. So what is the place value of the underlying number? I'm going no, I'm not going to answer that. This one is part of the homework that I'm going to give. Part of the homework that I'm going to give. So here we have three and three is the underlined number. Then the last one we have eighty eight. But they have underlined one eight. Are you seeing the eight that has been underlined? So can you give me the under the place value of the underlined number? Are we together? And from there we will be done with the story of place value of digits in numbers. Any question? Any question? Grade two, any question? Teacher, we have done these things several times in grade one, and we are again doing them in grade two. You will again do them in grade three, so that you get them perfectly well. So that by the time you are reaching grade four, you are able to add nicely, you are able to multiply, you are able to divide, do so many things because you know what? The place value of numbers. Are we together? I'm very happy to have you. I'm very excited. I wish you well, and I hope to see you in the next lesson. Thank you.